Hi, I'm Bo Yu from Nova Star. In this video, I would like to talk about the all-in-one video controller of Nova Star. Today, I'm going to show you five main models of all-in-one video controllers. They are VX4 SM, VX 6S, VX1000, Nova Pro UHD Junior, and Nova Pro UHD. This series of products are born for integrating both of sending and video processing functions into only one product. With the help of Nova Star's all-in-one video controllers, one product is able to realize not only the sending function, but also the video processing functions like scaling, picture-in-picture -picture display, etc. Next, it's on the size of the screen and the practical need of the project. I will introduce how to distinguish each of them. Let's firstly take a look at this full HD screen. This size of LED screen has become a very basic one especially the outdoor screen for fixed installation or some small size of rental activities. We also need scaling function or adding an additional layer on the LED screen. The X4SN would be a nice choice for it. It is sporting capacity of 2.3 million pixels. It should be noted that this VX4SN is a new product in 2021. This model is developed based on the old version of VX4S. They are almost the same with regard to the basic functions and loading capacity. This product is still equipped with the DP1.1, HDMI 1.3, 3G SDI, DVI, VGA, and CVBS in order to display full HD video results. The biggest difference between old VX4S and VX4SN is that we remove some ports that are used less frequently on the new VX4S, such as one CVPS port and one VGA port for the input. As a result, the product itself would obtain more precise ability. Some clients might have such troubles if the LED screen is slightly larger than 2.3 million pixels, for example, 2.6 million, 3 million, or 3.5 million. You might have to use two pieces of VX4 or SN in the past. But now, if the total pixels of the screen don't exceed 3.9 million, VX6S would be a very suitable choice. Only one machine is enough. VX6S has powerful video processing capability. It supports seven video inputs and six Ethernet ports for the sending output, so that it supports 3.9 million pixels at maximum. It supports three layers and enables to operate seamless switching function. At the same time, VX6S supports multiple transition effects, such as quick seamless switching and phase, providing flexible display controlling and outstanding video presentations. The question comes again, if the screen is 4K by 1K or larger, for example, 5 million pixels, 6 million pixels, you might have to use 3 pieces of VX4SN or 2 pieces of VX6N in the past. Now, Nova Star is able to provide you another solution. In the summer of 2021, Nova Star officially launched a new product named VX1000, which is equipped with 10 Ethernet ports for the sending output, while VX1000 can support 6.5 million pixels. It's capable of receiving a variety of video signals and possessing high resolution of 4K by 1K at 60 Hz, for example, HDMI 1.4 and Dual Link DVI. At the same time, VX1000 supports three layers, which is as same as VX6S with adjustable layer size and position. VX1000 also has two optical fiber ports so that the product itself is able to provide optical signal for long distance transmission. Besides, VX1000 could be switched from controller mode to fiber converter mode. In this case, this product could be used as a fiber converter. Based on its powerful video processing, this product also features low latency and 3D display. During recent years, there is an increasing number of demands for 4K LED screens all over the world. They could be found from the cases of high-end indoor fixed installation, rental activities, like large size of conferences, stage performances, and so on. Based on this trend, I'd like to introduce two important video controllers of Nova Star which would be very suitable for the projects that would use 4K LED screen or larger screens. They are Nova Pro UHD Junior and Nova Pro UHD. Let's take a look at Nova Pro UHD Junior firstly. 
There are 16 pieces of Ethernet ports and 4 pieces of optical fiber ports for the sending function, which enables this product to support 10.4 million pixels in total. Additionally, Nova Pro UHD Junior is able to support ultra high resolution at 8K by 1K at 60Hz. In other words, this product would be greatly suitable for those of LED screens, extreme high or extreme wide screens. Compared to those of VX series of products, this product is completely equipped with input connectors that support 4K video results like HDMI 2.0, TP 1.2, PLG SDR. In addition, this product also provides enough resources to support three layers, and all of the layers could be up to 4K by 2K. There are also several important features for this Nova Pro UHD Junior. Firstly, the scaling effects have been several times improved by using a completely new precising technology. Secondly, this product supports the most advanced display technologies of NovaStar. For example, HDR display, the latency function, and image booster, together with the use of AAS or 18S plus receiver cards. Due to its wide range of usage and great popularity, Nova Pro UHD Junior won an important award, Precision and Distribution Technology of the Year during AV Awards 2020. If the project requires more from the video controller, like asking for layers to display or input connectors, Nova Pro UHD, which has more functions than Nova Pro UHD Junior, would be a wonderful choice. In general, both of these two types of video controllers share a lot of same functions and characteristics. Both products support 10.4 million pixels with the same maximum width and height, supporting HDR, 3D display, latency, etc. Compared to the Nova Pro UHD Junior, the first difference is that Nova Pro UHD enables you to create six layers total. Two layers could be up to 4K by 2K, and four layers could be up to 2K by 1K. At the same time, there are more input connectors for this product. Two 12G HDI ports are added, and a replaceable input card with four pieces of HDMI 1.3 input ports is equipped as well. Secondly, Nova Pro UHD supports a backup for the power supply. It will be very risky that the screen has black on the side, and it will be a nightmare for any rental companies. But with the help of the backup function for the power supply, the safety and reliability of the site could be largely improved. Okay, this is the final seconds of this video. Hopefully you like it. I'm Boyu. Thank you for watching this video. Goodbye.